La 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 la. Mi 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 mi. Ra 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 ra. Ma 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 mo 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 mo. Ba ba da be la. Mi 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 la 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 la. Lo la 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 la. Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you, and nice to be back here in the bathroom. Right. This shave is a, a bit of an experiment. I have some stuff here that I've searched out, looked at different prices. I've been using a lot of high-end gear lately. I usually always do this when I've been using high-end gear, really expensive razors, expensive brushes, soap, stuff like that. I go back to the basics and say to people that have um, maybe just subscribed to my channel, uh, it doesn't have to be like that. You can get by on a budget. You can use this uh, stuff here I've got today, or different stuff, and you can shave this way for, I've looked at everything here, less, well, about £25 for about six months worth of shaves, uh, shaving this way. So that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to use the latest, greatest bells and whistles, razor and soap and brush and everything like that. Uh, I'm going to show you some stuff today that's readily available uh, on eBay, Amazon, and supermarkets, uh, here in the UK anyway, but you'll get similar products uh, throughout the world. Every place has got um, different stuff. Wet shavings, kind of, kind of climbing up the ladder, ladder a little bit. That's a hard one to say, climbing up the ladder a little bit. Um, right, so let me show you the things I'm going to use. At first, I'm going to say, how are you all doing? Good. Right. Uh, Right, let me show you. I'm going to first start with the pre-shave. Um, right, pears. This is in the UK, you can get this. Pears, glycerin-based soap, 75 grams. Comes in this nice box. It's about 75 pence, 75 pence to a pound in supermarkets. You can see it there. I've already used it, actually, as a, as a, a pre-shave soap. But this is just a glycerin-based soap. You can pick lots of different soaps up in supermarkets like this. It has a little bit of a scent to it, but I'll just uh, wet the face, rub that on like that. Yeah, so you don't have to use um, expensive stuff. So this is a uh, 75p in the UK. I'll just wet the soap again. Right, just put that there. To the side. What to do? Wet your hands and then just rub it in. Yeah, it just uh, it softens the bristles up. It's very slick. You can feel it on your fingers. Wet the hand again. There you go. That's your pre-shave. Now you can leave that on or you can rinse it off. It'll uh, still do the same thing. I think I'll, uh, I'll rinse it off. I usually leave it on, but I'm just going to rinse it off. So you just do that, rub that in like that, and then just rinse it off. There we go. I'll just leave what's left there. Yeah, you can actually feel how um, slick that is already. So, that's your pre-shave for less than one pound. But, as I say, there's uh, places all over the world you can get this sort of thing. Similar, similar products. Right, let me show you the rest of the stuff I'm going to use in the shave. Just let that get to work, softening up the stuff. Uh, the razor is going to be your most expensive outlay at the moment. Uh, this is one from eBay. 
I picked up. Uh, it says on the top there, Shine, S-H-Y-N-E. Um, I've used this before actually. It's good weight on it. It's like an e um, Edwin Jagger D89 head. It's a Zamac razor, but $8.99, free postage uh, on eBay. Good weight to it. Three piece. Screw it apart like that. There's the head. Yeah, it's not the best finish, but it will do the job. I guarantee it. Right, let me show you the blade. So that's £8.99, £9. The blade, uh, Gillette London Bridge. Here they are here. You can pick these up on eBay. Uh, five packs of these for £3.40. Uh, free postage. Five packs will be, what is it? Um, five in a pack, 25 blades. 25, even if you're shaving every day. So you get two, two shaves out, two or three shaves out on. That's, that's like six months of uh, shaves. Is it 25? Yeah, almost. Uh, <laughs> there's the blade there. Yeah, these are made in the Philippines. These uh, Gillette London Bridge. There it is there on the, on the razor head. Just put that on. Every razor gets a little washer, no matter how cheap or expensive it is. Screw that in. And the blade alignment. Oh, it's way off. It's not. <laughs> It's uh, it's pretty centered. Yeah, look, there we go. Yeah, it looks okay. There's a little bit of overhang at the side here, but not too much to worry about. So that's the Shine razor. Right, the brush, um, this Yaki, 24 millimeter. You can pick this up on AliExpress just now for five pounds 25 with the barber pole handle. I think maybe it has a different knot, but it's a synthetic brush, easy to use. £5.25 for this. <laughs> That's a steal. That's an absolute steal. Yeah, it might take a little while to get to you from China, but there you go. That's the brush. £5. The cream. Uh, you can pick this up in a lot of supermarkets over here. Sainsbury's have it. Um, I would imagine you'll be able to get a similar sort of cream, or maybe even this. Uh, palm olive. £1.99, so less than £2 for a, a tube of this, and this will last you a long, long time. It doesn't have the best ingredients list, but it works. A bowl, I've got just a, a bowl from the kitchen, just a plain bowl. I'll squeeze some of that in there. Not much. Screw the top back on. And then we will wet the brush. And then we'll just get to lathering it. There you go, straight away it's starting to lather. It was green to start with, but now it's turning a whitey colour. Opposite from the Incredible Hulk, he turns green when he gets angry. This one turns white when it gets uh, angry. It starts frothing. <laughs> it's a nice scent on this. Um, yeah, palm olive. That's what it smells like. Just a, a nice soapy scent. I'm just adding some wa water in there. Just keep working it. Yeah, five pounds for this brush. Unbelievable. I don't know what that is in dollars. Maybe about. I don't know, seven or eight dollars US. Maybe about six euros, something like that. Right, so that looks good. Right, we can add more water to it, but look at that. Right, so just bring that to the face. Yeah, I have um, about two days worth of growth here. I have just came out of the shower, prepped my face with some pre-shave. Look at this lather. I'm just dipping the tips of the brush.
There you go. Yeah, so um, the reason I wanted to do this, just because anyone watching my videos, uh, seeing this stuff and thinking, oh, that razor looks good, and then looking at it and it's like 200 bucks. <laughs> I just thought, right, I'll do a, a cheapo shave. So I'm just uh, running the hot water, putting the razor underneath it so it's hot, nice and warm on your face. Uh, yeah, this is uh, less than a night out, this shave. I tell you what, that razor feels great. This is the uh, second use on this blade. On the uh, Gillette. Gillette London Bridge. Good blades. Good blades. Right, let's get this done. Of course, if you do, if you are new to this way of shaving, it's easy to, <laughs> to fall down the, the rabbit hole, as everyone calls it, of uh, seeing people's shave of the day pictures and people talking about different razors and blades and it's easy to get caught up and oh I've got to try that I've got to try that I think I said that uh, recently in an interview I did with uh, Shave TV I said if I could uh, one word of advice I would give not one word but <laughs> A piece of advice I would give to anyone uh, starting out this way of shaving is buy a razor uh, that you can afford, buy a, a multi-pack of blades, different blades, and just use those for the first few months. Get used to it, let your skin adapt. Maybe one or two soaps, maybe a cream, uh, and that's it. Right, there's a good slickness on that. <laughs> that feels fantastic. Right, let me rinse. I will come back for pass number two. I like to rinse the lather off in between passes, so uh, I just take a bit of time. That's why I pause the video. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute or two. Okay, we're back. Yeah, that's uh, the slickness on that, especially as well from the uh, the pre-shave soap, the, the glycerin-based soap. Very slick. Right, back to this uh, brush. Just taking some more lather out of the bowl. Look at that. Lovely. Actually, I'm just going to put some back in there. Yeah, Yaki brushes are really good. DS Cosmetic as well, and these are the uh, synthetic ones, so they're great for beginners. You know, sometimes using a a natural hair brush. It can be a bit troublesome at times at the start if you're just starting out, the lather disappears and badger brushes are like, oh, where's the lather gone? But these synthetics just yeah, really work and they don't need much looking after. You could just rinse them out, dry them on a towel a little bit and they're pretty much ready to go again for the next shave. That looks great. Right, second pass with the shine razor with the Gillette London Bridge. What's going on with my ears here? Why am I lathering there? Yeah, you can lather your ears if you want. Not a good idea. Idea. <laughs> Not a good idea. Ear. Sorry. Yeah, this feels um, pretty similar. To an Edwin Jagger D89. Actually, there's, um, 
There's nice knurling on the handle. I don't, I don't think, the link I'm going to put, I don't think it's this particular razor, but it's pretty much the same. It has a different handle, slightly different. But, um, yeah. Good grip on it. That's all, that's all you need. It's all you need, said Kevy, as he cleans out his uh, 300 pound razor. <laughs> No, but it is. I'm a, myself and some of the other YouTubers are very lucky that we get a uh, sent product uh, to try out, you know. Companies will uh, contact us and say, do you want to try this or do you want to try that? And uh, it's always good to try them as well as it shows them off to, to you guys. Um, I always give my honest opinion as to how it feels and stuff like that. So as does most people. Oh, he said most people. That implies that some of them don't. I didn't mean it like that, I just meant... <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sent any of this stuff, I bought everything here. £25. Right, that's the uh, second pass with that razor. Feels great. Feels really good, honestly. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number three. Okay, rinsed off. Right, I'll tell you what, when I feel like that, that would be good enough to go to work on, easily. But when I do that, you can hear there's a still, still stubble there. So I like to be a, I like to go for a BBS shave. Look at that. Yeah, as I said, not the, uh, not the best ingredients in these cheap creams and stuff, but they'll get you going. They'll do the job. To get you started. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to call this video. I was gonna call it um six months of DE shaves for less than a night out, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it costs for a night out now. I can't remember the last time I was on a night out. <laughs> I couldn't tell you the price of a a pint of beer or a pint of lager or whatever. I could not tell you how much it costs. Was it three pounds, five pounds, eight pounds? I don't know. Excellent. Right. Third pass with the shine razor. Listen to that. Up close in the personal today. <laughs> Listen to that. Yeah, a little uh, weeper there, but that's okay. Yeah, as soon as I rinse with the, uh, the cold water, they usually close up. 
And if you aren't new, there will be times where you get little weepers and little nicks and cuts and your skin will be red. Because it, um, it takes a bit of time for your skin to get used to this way. Your, uh, Dragging a sharp blade across it, yeah, look, a couple of little wipers here, but it's fine, it's fine. Don't let that put you off. I'm really enjoying this, actually. This is a very comfortable shave. Nice blade, nice razor. Cream's working well. Let's just see how slick that is, yeah. Very good. Right, three passes done. I'll have a quick rinse. Let's see if there's any little spots I've missed or need going over again. Yeah, just the usual one down this uh, down this jawline, around the neck. Right, I'm, I'm going to lather this bit up because I'm going to do the uh, the Nero technique. For those of you that don't know it, um, right, I'll show you it in a minute. Right, let's get this little bit done. Yes, yeah, so you can. You can clearly hear the the way my hair grows must be down that way, kind of thing, because when I go. Like that, you can hear it, but going this way. Yeah, there we go. Right. Um, for those of you that are saying, what the hell's the De Niro technique? Right, let me just show you my, my chin. You can see that there, it's, uh, it's smooth, but when I do the, a Robert De Niro face, it gets these little dimples on it, and it, it's, <laughs> the razor seems to go in, in these little nooks and, cranny and uh, crannies, and just uh, it, it seems to pick up the stubble. So uh, I call it the De Niro technique. <laughs> Come on, huh? What you gotta do, huh? Come on. Yeah, so it's just a little dimples. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but it seems to work just on this little bit here. Come on, get this shape on, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it works, but it does. Right, let me just have a, a quick rinse with cold water. Right. That feels great. Really good. Right. What I like to do with the leftover lather, uh, which a lot of you guys have seen before, I collect the lather in the brush. Just take it out of the brush like that. Look at that. That's superb. And I just rub it into my face. So I'm not wasting it. Um, it just makes your face feel nice. Smooth. Silky. After the shave. So what I do is, I rub this into my face. Like this. Hmm, quite nice. I... Uh, <laughs> I leave this on my face, I just rub it in and leave it like that, clean all my gear out, and then I rinse this off with hot water and cold water. I've, I've been doing this for a good couple of years now, a lot of people do it now. It's not, um, it wasn't me that, I didn't, uh, 
invent I was going to say. <laughs> I didn't use this first, it was uh, Kerry from Phoenix and Bow, uh, a UK artisan. I've seen him doing it and I thought, right, I'm going to give that a go, see what it's like. And it really does work. Right, so I'll rinse all my gear out, come back, and then we'll have a cheap post shave and I'll show you what that is once I rinse this off. See you soon. Just uh, patting the face dry. There we go. <laughs> I have absolutely no complaints there. Yeah, what's not to like? Right, on to the post shave. Uh, aftershave. Boots Freshwood Aftershave. You can pick up this bottle, uh, it's 115ml for £2.99 in Boots. Uh, you get a matching balm, but I'm trying to save money with that, so I'm just going to use the aftershave and uh, I'll show you what I'm using for a balm in a minute. There it is there, it has a, quite a big hole in the top there, so just put your finger over it and just let it drizzle out. Like drizzling olive oil. <laughs> Here we go. It's a pleasant scent. It's uh, woodsy and fresh, it's fresh wood. <laughs> Hardly any burn there at all. A little sting. But nothing on the Ken Surf scale. <laughs> he always makes me laugh when he puts aftershave on. It's like, ah! <laughs> there we go. Let's uh, clean the top off. Nice. Yeah, it smells good. And to finish off the shave, I've seen this uh, lying here. Mrs. Kevy used it as, as a, a hand cream, a moisturising cream. Uh, so I'm just going to use it. A Trixo. Actually, I think my mother used this. That shows how long this has been out. Um, it's a kind of lemony type scent. Uh, let me show you the cream. There it is in there. Yeah, so I just need a bit of that. So, but you can use any moisturising cream. This is good stuff actually, it just it rubs in really quick. It has a, like a light lemon scent. Very light lemon. You only need a touch, but it rubs in really quick. But like I say, you can use any moisturiser that you've got lying about or even if I was to recommend a cheap balm, Nivea. Nivea do um, aftershave balms that are pretty cheap. A couple of pounds you can get them for. There you go. That's that rubbed in already. Just wipe my hands. There we go. What do you think? I'm ready for a night out now. I'm ready for a night out. Let's go for a night out. Nah, let's just uh, chill in about the house and watch some TV and sit and eat snacks. Yeah, okay. We'll just do that instead. <laughs> Nights out just complicate things. <laughs> People get drunk and fight and then, then fall out and... Uh, nah. Let's just stay outdoors. Right, okay. We'll just do that. Right, let me show you what we've used in this uh, less than the price of a night out shave. <laughs> we started with the pears. Glycerin soap. Here it is here. Uh, you can pick this up for, as I say, about 75p to a pound in the UK. That'll last you for, I don't know, a good while if that's what you're using it for. Uh, but very good. I rubbed it in and kind of rinsed a lot of it off. It worked great. The brush was the Yaki Barber Pole Handle, 24mm. Uh, you can pick this up just now. I don't know, This that might change. Uh, for about five, five, six pounds. So that's good. The razor, the eBay Edwin Jagger Classic. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a, a shine razor. There we go. I'll put links for everything and you can check it out. Uh, £8.99, your most expensive outlay in the shave. But it will last you for a while. Look after it, clean it, make sure you rinse it out thoroughly and uh, make sure it's dry, take it apart and stuff. And it will last you, it should last you a good couple of years anyway. Good razor. Um, inside that was a brand new, uh, sorry, a second use Gillette London Bridge blade. 
uh, from the Philippines. Very, very good blades actually. Very good. Here's the uh, wrapper. Well, the wrapper is just the same as the, the, the carton there. But very good blade. Second use on that blade. Really enjoyed it. Um, nice and smooth, comfortable. We bowl lathered in a, a bowl from the kitchen. I'll probably put my porridge in this now. Porridge and palm olive, mmm. It doesn't smell. It's, uh, I've rinsed it out thoroughly, so I'll dry that, put that back. Shh, don't tell Mrs. Kevy. Um, <laughs> right, so there was um, three passes with that. Pickups, face wash with the lather. Post shave was boots, fresh wood, after shave. £2.99. I think I've had this bottle for four or five years. Um, it's getting a bit low now. But two ninety nine. you can pick that up for. And finished it off with a Trixo. But you can get any moisturising cream. It's uh, It works. There you go. There's the result. Pretty damn good. If I don't say so myself. So, that just shows you. You don't have to use the latest and greatest thing. Um, People always use the uh, comparison like it's it's like driving a car that has like basic stuff in it to driving a Ferrari if you buy a, 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 a high-end razor and stuff like that. It, is, it feels nicer, it's made by nice materials and stuff, but uh, at the end of the day, if you're looking for a good shave, all this stuff will do. Um, I'll put links for everything, but a lot of the stuff's on eBay in the UK, but you'll probably be able to find it uh, on eBay or Amazon, stuff like that, cheap razors. A lot of razors have this style ahead now um yeah but it can be done you can do it and all this will last you a good six months at least at least six months uh, you might need to buy more blades but that's okay right uh that's all from me it's friday have yourselves a fantastic rest of friday and the weekend is coming so enjoy it while you can uh stay safe i hope you've all been uh, vaccinated um and I'm waiting on a second shot, which should be next month, hopefully. All things going well. But uh, keep wearing those masks and stay safe. And uh, yeah, the two metre distance and blah de blah 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 All that sort of stuff. Um, I'll have a wee drink of water to celebrate. Cheers. Oh, Scottish water is beautiful. Right, I will see you in the next shave. Uh, I don't know when that will be. I'm waiting some on some other things coming through in the post, a couple of high-end things <laughs> after the shave. Uh, yeah, but um, we'll get that done and uh, we'll be able to show you some more fantastic wet shaving gear. So I shall see you in the next video. Until then, take care. I love you all. See ya.